On any given night, the Grand Prairie Storm can easily draw a couple thousand fans. And a lot of those fans know the players by name and by number. And today we've taken the players out of the arena and brought them here to a restaurant. We have Captain Blake Clement and defenseman Bobby Tyson. Boys, how's it going? Good. It's going real well. Tell everyone what we're doing here today. Oh, just uh, having a little day out, eating some lunch with you, and uh, I don't know, something uh, new, I guess. 2,000, 3,000 fans for a home game. I mean, you guys are the biggest ticket in town. People know you. They, I mean, you're heroes to a lot of local kids. Just, you know, tell me a little bit about how that feels. Well, uh, it's, I'll start. It's uh, pretty amazing for me. I know Blake's uh, from Grand Prairie, so he's used to this. But uh, I came up through uh, Powell River in the BCHL, and we were lucky to have six or 700 fans at a game. And the rink was nowhere as big, nowhere as nice as it is here. And so my first uh, my first game was on a Wednesday night, and I think we had 15 to 1,700 fans, and I was just I was in awe. I was absolutely taken aback at how strong the support was on a on a weekday game, no less, because we probably get 300 fans in Powell River on a weekday game compared to 1,500 here. I knew I was in the place I wanted to play hockey for the rest of my junior career. I don't want to build their confidence too much. I'm sure they already know that they're a fairly big deal, but 2,000 fans, I guess that's that's what you get. Come playoff time. What's changed? Anything changed around the room? Uh, want me to take this one? Yeah, take uh, it. Well, you can't really change too much. Uh, you got to stick with uh, what you've been doing with all year. So, uh, I don't know, we're trying, probably uh, got, I think, five games left here and just uh, trying to perfect everything before playoff time and get all the little mistakes out of the game and uh, hopefully we go on a long run. I know you guys got some serious characters on your club. I mean, you guys yeah, have... one of them right next to me. Yeah, that's right. I've done several interviews with this guy that's... Haven't always started off on the most serious notes. Yeah, well, um, you need guys like that on the team, I guess. There's a couple like uh, Brandon Turnbull and I don't know who else. Uh, uh, I don't know. I'm, is it me and Brandon probably the most, uh, I would say, unnormal guys, I guess? Unnormal. <laughs> uh, yeah, we just like to keep it loose lots of time and uh, make it fun in the dressing room, I guess. And that way guys like to be there and it's fun for everyone. But Blake and Brennan's uh, definition of loose crosses some serious boundaries as far as normal people go. If they step in the locker room and took something out of context, which our coach does on occasion, he <laughs> walks in during the, during the weirdest moments you can walk in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I think it would probably spook a couple people, but it's, it's all in good fun. It's just, you know, boys being boys, bonding. All right, boys, thanks very much. No problem. Yeah, thanks, Aaron. No problem. People of Grand Prairie are going to come out, hopefully in droves for the playoffs. I mean, obviously you want them to make some noise, get behind you. Just, I don't know, tell them something as to um, why you should come out. I just, for me, it's, uh, they don't, I don't think sometimes they realize how important they really are. Um, when they pack that rink, it gives us like a sixth person on the 